Hello, Three Creek members. I'm back, only this time I'm with Joe Shapley, and we're looking at a chipping shot or a pitching shot. One of the things you're going to notice touring pros do, compared to most of the amateurs I've encountered, is when they have a short game shot, they'll take multiple practice motions. And what they're doing, they're trying to feel the grass, they're trying to get an idea of how much momentum, how much speed they're going to need to hit the ball a certain distance. Now, I'm just off the green, I am in the rough. I don't want to think about mechanics when I'm here, but I had the opportunity to play golf with Susan Campbell and Janet Smith and Julie Insall and Anita Saul the other day. And one of the things that came up from when Julian and I were hitting some of the pitching shots was that we hit them high, a lot higher than maybe the ladies, the other ladies thought we uh, that you would need to hit a ball. And they were wondering a little bit about how do you do that. Well, I have three different lofts here, and I usually walk up with at least two of them when I have one of these shots. I have a 50 degree. I have a 54 degree and I have a 58 degree. So one of the things as I first walk up to this ball, I need to decide which loft I need to fly the ball comfortably onto the green and that only have it roll out another 20 feet. Well, my 50 degree, I know from experience, is gonna go too far. It's a great club in my bag. I would encourage you to hit shots with a club like this and fly it onto the green and see what the rollout would be. I know that would be too much. I also don't believe my 54 is the right club unless I was to really open it a lot, which is kind of what we had to do in the old days. Well, I'm going to use a 58 degree. A lot of people here have a 60. I actually have a 64 in my bag. And I'm going to first of all look at these two lines. My first lie is phenomenal. It's a great lie. The ball is sitting up, but you're going to notice, first thing I'm going to teach you today is the handle position. Most of the time when I see people walk in, they don't have the handle in a good position. I'm going to ask you to put the handle right on the crease of your front leg. By doing that, you're going to notice the club looks a little bit open but it's not, it's square. That's, loft is your friend. I want you to have loft when you hit these shots. So I'm gonna walk in first of all, I'm gonna put the handle on my left thigh, adjust my stance so the face is square. Now I'm gonna make some practice moves. And right, what, right away what I'm feeling, this turf is really wet. There's, it's really muddy under there. So I've got to start adjusting. That was, the, that was kind of what I'm looking for. Okay, now I feel comfortable. I'm not gonna be repeating mechanics. I'm gonna look at the spot where I'd like the ball to, to land, make my setup, and then make the stroke. So that was slightly short of my mark, and the ball's a little short of that mark as well just a little short of pin high. Now this ball, see I've got a lot of grass between me and the, and the hole. I just learned this breaks a little right. So when I walk in this time, I know I've got to hit grass. So as I make this practice stroke, I'm getting a little bit more momentum. Now I'm ready to hit the shot. Once again, it landed just short of my mark, almost on the piece of paper, but yet the distance control was good. So you'll notice when I play golf, I don't make a lot of practice swings. As a matter of fact, I don't make any practice swings on full swing shots. But when I'm hitting a short game shot, I'll make multiple strokes around the green to feel the grass, to feel the turf, and allow that club to go down into the turf to get a pretty good representation of what I'm gonna encounter over the shot. I hope that helps. Until next week, 
Have, we'll see you later.